Uh, it's all, I'm done to know, huh? Yep. All right, yeah. Ethan. So last topic for the podcast today. I really want to talk about what's your favorite breeds of dog? Aww. Oh, I, I this is a sensitive topic for Miguel. I, I, I'll preface it and say he <laughs> recently had, you gave, you gave your dog back? Yeah, I gave He recently my... gave uh, Monkey his dog back to... A drug lord. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know if you should have said no, that. No, he's but... very much a drug lord. <laughs> right, well, <laughs> his previous owner, who was a drug lord. But he look. That's what. That's why I was so iffy about giving him back. Because you know how much. How like you know drug lords. How much do they really care about their dogs? You know. But this guy, the nicest drug lord I ever met. <laughs> the sweetest dude. Just really down to earth. Really loved his dog. Uh-huh. Had to give it back. You know what sure. I mean? But yeah, so to describe what kind of dog was Monkey. Actually, okay. So I didn't know what it was because like I. Okay, so the. I did a whole research on chihuahuas. Okay, so I knew that he had to be some like some sort of chihuahua, right? So, but I didn't know what. Well, come to find out that this drug dealer, like, I really need this dog back. Like, he's also like really like he's a purebred dog. Like, he's worth a thousand dollars, and I'm like, so I'll, he's worth so much money. And so what? I was like, okay, so how's he purebred if he doesn't look like a normal chihuahua? Well, I found out that there's two types of chihuahuas. Oh. There's a there's an apple-headed chihuahua, which is the ones with the beady eyes that come yep. out, and they're the ones that always shiver. The one from Beverly like, Hills Chihuahua. Yeah, yeah, and they look yeah. like they look rats, and they look the ones like that no one like, likes. No one likes, and everyone's like, I hate chihuahuas. You know what I mean? Like yeah. And then there's him, which is like called a deer-headed chihuahua. And okay. That's why he kind of looks like a deer. Yeah. And so this chihuahua is like it's a purebred chihuahua. It's, it's like it's it's yeah it's it's less well known than so that makes makes it more rare. And so, yeah, it was a deer-headed chihuahua worth $1,200. That's crazy. So I was just harboring this drug dealer's, like, $1,200 yeah, chihuahua. I was going to say, because I, 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 I took my words back where I was like, I hate chihuahuas, but monkey's such a good chihuahua. Exactly. And then I realized, I'm like, it's because he's a different kind of breed of chihuahua. Exactly. It makes so much more sense. Yeah, and I always get so offended now when, like, I was talking to people. I was like, yeah, I have my chihuahua there. And then they're like, ugh, I hate chihuahua. Like, that's the first thing they said. Yeah. I'm like, you don't know chihuahua. You don't like <laughs> You don't know monkey. You just get personally offended. I'm personally offended. So now I have to say, like, oh, I have my deer-headed chihuahua. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, wait. Let's go for it. Can educate him? <laughs> my favorite thing about monkey is that he, he wasn't yappy. I think a lot of, like, that's exactly a lot of small dogs are yappy, and he was really well-mannered and, like, fluffy, too. That's my other thing. Is yeah. for me, and this goes in the whole dog breed question. I like fluffy dogs. Like I don't yeah. want I don't Aww, want them to be fluffers. like. Or even just like, like I, I'm like so I'm, I'm gonna go through my, my favorite dog breeds right go for now. It. Schnauzers, hands down, favorite kind of dog breed. I have a mini Schnauzer. Oh, I'm jealous. Yeah. I'm je- I like mini and normal. It's like one of the only dogs quick, I like both. Uh, they're like you know, I like miniature Schnauzers because they're hyperallergenic. So I, I like them because I can actually like cuddle them like one of the only animals that don't give me allergies like crazy. Right. Um, but I like big schnauzers. So I like the long. I like the legs. I like like dogs with graceful looking legs, little beards, and everything. But mm-hmm. I like Emily and I were talking about like at some point we want to get ourselves a schnauzer. I want to call him Theodore Schnauzel after <laughs> Theodore Herzl. Theodore <laughs> Schnauzel. But uh, yeah, and then I'm also a big pit bull fan. Not Mr. Worldwide, really? but I'm actually a really big fan of just good, healthy-looking pit bulls. My mom yeah. has always wanted one. She's always wanted one. We've gone through so many different dogs, uh, and she's never gotten it. And I think now at this point, she's like against them because they're the ones with a lot of health problems naturally, right? No, those, no, are, pugs, those are pugs because they're all pugs, inbred semi. and they breathe like. Ugh, I hate. Pugs. I love pugs, but I will never get one because I just do not. I feel bad. For it. <laughs> you wake up <laughs> just hearing. Yeah. <laughs> no, and the, the, if you don't trim their nails, they get so long and uncomfortable for them it's just everything about it looks painful <laughs> yeah, no I agree with you though it's like, I don't, I don't want to support it I don't want to support yeah, the fact exactly. that people are breeding these things but also I found out that I mean purebred dogs on their own are just inbred like yeah. they're just they're small gene pool yeah you know exactly I mean? mm-hmm. so that's why I always support my mutts yeah. always get your mutts yeah mm-hmm. no I, I, I always go shelter hands down like, oh, I, I, any animal we go to it's always shelter yeah I'm actually going tomorrow to go to shelter yeah, I'm getting I'm going to get a new dog to, yeah. is your what? drug lord He's paying, paying for, for it. it. Yeah, he gave me oh, three hundred. Wow. Gave me three hundred bucks. Nice. And then he's like, "I'll pay for a new dog." And nice. I'm like, well, "That's the best dog sitting uh, opportunity I've ever heard." You got paid, and then the money's going. Right you also got to Honestly, think yeah, that for a little bit that you got to keep the dog. Yeah, yeah. I bet okay. it sucks being a foster uh, dog parent. Yeah, Ugh, I would not be able to do that. You just adopt them all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I would like to argue it's probably harder being a foster kid. You have a consciousness. Yeah. Yeah. Human uh, being. yeah, you know, growing up and all that. Um, I don't know. Uh, Shrove, favorite uh, breeds? What about you? What's that Jewish dog you're telling me about? They have like... Oh, the cannon dog? Yeah, I like those. They have like... I like, I like tails. 
<clears throat> right. Not the Sonic character, but... <laughs> <laughs> you mean miles per hour? <laughs> no, no uh, the, the, the dog she's talking about is actually really dope. Because it's... What's called? Uh, canon. C-A-N-A-A-N. Like, canon as in, like, biblical canon, like, the mm-hmm. original name for Israel. So, they're, they're like, the Israeli dog, like, the national dog of Israel. Mm-hmm. And what's so cool about them is they were, like, the OG dog that, like, um, Semitic settlers got when they were back in, like, ancient times. Kind of yeah. looks like a little bit like a doge. Yep, yeah, it looks, it looks yeah. like Shiba. Yeah, it, it looks like a Shiba because it's that Middle Eastern dog. Oh, really? And, like, it, supposedly what's super cool about them is they have a really primitive uh, mind still because they're, they're, like, one of the OG wolves, basically, that became really? dogs. Yeah. And after the Jews, after the Romans conquered the Jews and took the to, to amount of the Red Land or whatever, the Arabs didn't want the dogs. So the Arab, Arabs don't, don't, didn't keep dogs or whatever. So they let them just go wild again. So the dogs were undomesticated for like two, like a thousand nine hundred years until Whoa. the Jews came back and found Israel. And part of uh, their initiative when they were forming Israel was like, we want our dogs back, basically. And they went, <laughs> they went out in the desert and re-domesticated these dogs. That is so. So it's so trippy because they were surviving by themselves on the desert, hunting like random wildlife and stuff. And they re-domesticated them, so they're like super loyal. They like, used to be like sheep herding dogs. So like, if you, if you have biblical stories of like the shepherds when Jesus was born, like the dogs they used were those kind of dogs. Oh, that's and crazy. They're, they're like they're like super rare because it's like they only come from that region, mm-hmm. and they have like. Like, they're not, like, great at anything, right? Like, certain dogs are, like, great hunters or great, like, endurance or everything. They're, like, medium-of-the-road dogs, but that's what's so cool about them. It's, mm. like, they're, they're, like, a really natural dog. And they're not inbred because they're just a natural, like... Right. They're naturally muddy because they were just domesticated animals. Right. So, yeah, they're... So, I was talking to a show, like, we, we should, like, get one of those, too. Because, A, it's a Jew dog, but B, <laughs> it's just cool. You know, I met... I When I was in Spain, we went uh, horseback riding in, like, the countryside of Spain, and... Oh, uh, we were at their farm, and, like, this dog comes out, and I've never seen anything like this. The dog was about, like, I would say up to my hip, and I'm six feet. Right. So, <laughs> and the thing is, it had an extra, an extra, like, paw. Yeah, an like, extra digit? Yeah. yeah, an extra digit, and apparently this dog was, like, as, as, like, natural as dogs come. Like, this was, like, one of the OG, like purebred dogs right and it was a monster yeah it was <laughs> huge it looked like a mini bear it was so big it's all oh, like one of those. it was huge it's crazy yeah i, I love because i was thinking like that's why i also kind of hate pugs and i kind of hate like certain kind of small dogs i look at them and i'm like you used to be a wolf like yeah you used exactly to be, <laughs> where have you come <laughs> like, yeah yeah this little like <laughs> it's like if it's like, imagine like 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 if you're like if like you just say the humans right like aliens captured us and like it was his pets sure. and they're breeding us and one of us came out with like a flat face and her eyes are on both sides of our head and it's like perfect let's find another one and make more of oh, you oh so cute <laughs> <laughs> like, you have no depth perception anymore because you're like a flounder like, <laughs> and, then, and then like 10 generations in it's like We're this is inhumane they live like 5 years yeah. compared to the original 30 they're it's like sw- they all swirly have- little like pigtails <laughs> so they're just gross shame. This is like what my miniature schnauzer looks like. It looks like this guy. I've had a few different uh, dogs, mm. but Aww. the creepiest one that we have right now, his name is Tucker. <laughs> I hate him. His name, Why do you a, name a dog Tucker? He, oh, is, a, is it a blue you know, No, it's a no. wine rainer. And uh, his, his, that's not how his tail looks. It looks like a thin little rat tail. Uh, he is the most <laughs> disgusting little thing. And he's creepy. Like, I... I <laughs> I guess we could like post these pictures uh, on the YouTubers on YouTuber site when we put this up there. Sure. But there's some horrible ones where he thinks he's human. Like he <laughs> he goes and he sits on the back of the couches. Like he's a full size dog, and he like lays on there and he'll sit on the back of the couches, and then he'll oh. work his way onto the bar stools and sit on the individual bar stool like he's a human next to my little brother when he's eating his breakfast, Ooh. and he just stares him down like thinking he's one of us. He's the weirdest thing. Uh, I've also had like a border collie. We nice. have a lab right now. Oh, we had I'm a lab. Shih Tzu at one point who was so dumb, but I love her to death. <laughs> and now we have like a some kind of terrier, a uh, little mini thing. Oh. I don't know. But favorite dog breeds, best dog ever was the border collie. They're so smart, and they're just like the perfect family dog. Really? Yeah. I like beagles. Absolutely. One thing I do beagles like is I think it's so cute. The stubby legs, yeah. <laughs> like a little corgi or a beagle. Like they have like these large behemoth like spaceship bodies yeah. and then just supported by four small legs little, little and they just like prance around how do wiener dogs 
like how did they survive to this point? Like in, I don't in like know. the evolution you know, because they, of us. I, I guess. Because they're like, aw, cute. <laughs> it's like I can't run away the from predators. Like, the is like, <laughs> his, spine, his spine is just like always like uh oh, no, drag it down. Once they get like four to fourteen years old, like they're literally like a, they're a, you, a they're purple. Parabola. Yeah, they're they're parabola. Parabola. It's like that looks painful. They follow nature's like perfect like geometric. <laughs> like Rabbi is just like you know, I'm, you're my bitch today. <laughs> like that looks horrible. Like I've known people who have owned wiener dogs. I'm like, how yeah. can you like look at this thing every morning? Like, it makes you every just morning get in the middle of them and just like pick up. Yeah. The <laughs> you get like a little level. And it's like there you go, bud. And I feel so because they're, they're beholden to their breeding too. Yeah. So it's like any time a doorbell goes off, they have to go chase it because it's like they're trained like prey finders, right? But they're so dumb. <laughs> It's so broken. So I wonder what goes on in their heads. Like, oh, just kill me. Please, yeah, just kill me. Like, we'll watch him go downstairs and just like, pick your dog up and walk him down. Yeah, it looked like a slinky at one point. It's just, it's I have a large, dumpy. like, 80 pound lab and it still has a hard time going down the yeah. stairs. Well, then, I like labs are like pit bulls. I like, I, like, I like Rottweilers too. I know those are all sort of like, well, labs are nicer, but like golden retrievers, labs. But like the rat wildlife pit bull, they're such strong animals. And oh it's my like, god, and mine I, isn't. I, and I, I like them because it's like they can handle themselves, right? Mm-hmm. Like they're they're this is your companion. Like you're choosing this dog to be your buddy, and like he's looking up to you for food, I guess. But like he is exchanging that with his attention. Is like he's doing the best he can, right? Yeah. And I hate 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 how modern apartments and housing facilities ever are like anti pit bull. Like mm-hmm. oh, 150 people last year died because of pit bulls. I'm like those. Are like drug dealers who train them to be like fighting you know yeah, like, exactly. these are all things like and I feel like, like naturally they're not that mean like pit bulls aren't naturally mean you have to make them mean which is like you lock them in a cage and don't feed them and you like shock them like a normal pit bull is a totally fine balanced dot you know mm-hmm. and like and, and like also it's like you don't have to snub their tails off because like there's such large things their tails don't grow off chunky whatever but if you get a good pit bull and like adds its tail it's like those are good dogs you know and but I, I like schnauzers as like compromise because it's Great like dog. it's a medium dog, just small like small medium dog kind of thing. They're fluffy, they're cute, they're good. I I love like I I can only really deal with sm- small dogs. Like I don't ever I don't know exactly why that is. I've been told a few different reasons, but I can only deal with small dogs. Like the bigger dogs get, the more that just looking at them naturally, I just go, I don't like you. Really? Like, I, like Tucker, he's he's this big dog. Another thing that bothers me about Tucker is though he's the weirdest dog. Like I don't know if certain breeds are like more weird than others. But I don't know if most Weimar Raymers are like this. You have something against this dog. Listen, I fair <laughs> he has taken out three of the major like uh, powerhouses in this world. He has chewed and eaten a complete Bible. He has beat religion. <laughs> he beat religion. <laughs> Number two, he ate, swallowed, and we have never found the battery that he ate. So he has really? beat science. The only thing left is politics. When you see him in the campaign for 2020, I'm going to show what to do. I don't know what I'm going to do at that point. He's, he, and like, he's just... He fights my little brother and like they're like kidding around until my little brother actually gets scared. Like he's taller than me, he's 16, he's like a sporty guy, but like he, he realizes like this dog can mess me up if he wanted to. Like, it, it's a terrifying creature, but I don't know what it is. My mom is a master. She raised the dogs just like she raised us, yeah. which I guess makes sense. Like it's why we're still like so terrified of her and we're so obedient sometimes. But, like that's the only person that she listens to. She, that dog does not adhere to anyone else, but as soon as she walks in she goes, little Tucker Bear. He's he's under her spell. Like, so interesting about the whole Tucker thing. Names for dogs. Where do you guys go? Like, are you guys cool giving more human names to dogs? Or I'm so mad. Or do they have okay. to be funny? Monkey, for instance. <gasps> yeah. Monkey. Guess what his real fucking name is. What? Like, you named him Monkey. I named. I thought. I I thought that's his name. It, it seems like a genuine name to give. Like, no, no. Yeah, I like it. I it was like a cute it. name. It fit him okay. so well. Think what? What do you think his name is? Hmm. What do I say? Like Terrence? Like, is this something dumb? Close. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> mm, uh, Transformer. No, no. It's as bland as you can get. Sam. Mark. What? Mark, Mark is his name. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> no. Oh, shitty. What if I like? called Monkey Mark, I feel like there's like a, a little human person like trapped in his, like, in, like, yeah. in him, and I'm like, <laughs> Mark, Mark, are you there, Mark? <laughs> You're afraid I witched <laughs> Yeah, Mark, it's okay, we'll get you. <laughs> but that's that's when you were, yeah. So what you're asking is, are you like, there's like three, in my opinion, there's three categories. There's human names mm-hmm. for dogs, there's uh, like, you know, animal names, like, Mittens or like yeah. uh, you know like spot yeah. spot and stuff like that and then there's just like 
sound effects, like uh, really, like, me, yeah, like me, or like <laughs> or dupe or something like that, like anything. I personally, I'm afraid I'm, I'm actually kind of sad. I'm about to announce this, but I've always wanted a dog, and the first dog that I own that is completely my own, I know exactly the name I want to give it. I thought of it randomly one day, and I'm just so attached to it. I want to name a dog Samurai Switchblade. All right, I have All no right. idea when I came up with this, but I love the name, and you can just like nickname him Sam. But the fact that his full name would be Samurai Switchblade, Switchblade. I don't even know what it means. Like I thought about it. It's like what does that even mean? Samurais don't have switchblades, but it's such a cool idea to me. And I absolutely what is samurai like, sword with the switchblades. Yeah, it's like, just like a samurai sword. Like, like, like flip flip <laughs> I don't know what about it. I absolutely love the idea of it. Dog would hate you. I, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, he'll love me. I'll try. I'm actually like getting a Doberman. This, like, what are you? What kind of breed are you looking for? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty open right now. But uh, first of all, corgi. I have, <laughs> <laughs> I, the samurai switchblade. The a, corgi. A teacup, a poodle, or something. Right. A teacup it's Yorkie. Yeah. But it, it has to be like a small, at most, medium dog. Because I don't, I don't like big dogs. I just can't deal. You see, I'm not opposite way like when i saw a monkey i was like first of all i'm gonna be biased here but i hate male dogs i can only get yeah, girl I, dogs yeah only that's girl. A, that's a and then when i saw a monkey he was small i hate small dogs i love big dogs and then on top of that it was a guy i was like dude this is not for me but you know what small dogs are where it's where it's small at. dogs are the best that's yeah. where it's at. absolutely the best but it's just like, it just seems so like degrading as like a person like bringing here. No, because the only thing I will say is like we like I took monkey out. We went swimming right, and then like this girl came out of nowhere. We were at green belt, and then she brings her like lab, and her lab's just like you know just trotting in the water, and then I just see monkey right next to him just like swimming. Like he can yeah. that's the only way he get through the water is because he's so small. He has to swim right beside him, and like this dog's just like whatever. I'm just like don't care. Monkeys. God, we had green belt uh, yesterday, yesterday. Yeah. and there was this yappy little terrier, and I'm just like it, it was. The owner was trying so hard to oh, get to swim. That's also it was like good. a stone in the water, and it wouldn't go. Just run to the rocks and yelp. And I'm like, poor thing. And like, run across the way. There was just this, like, fluffy golden retriever with his mouth wide open and his tongue hanging out, just floating, like, there. <laughs> and the owner was just holding it by the waist, and it was just, like, <laughs> neck deep in the water half the time of his life. And I'm like, dog breeds definitely are. It, it, then- it, it blew my mind. These things all are the same, like, species mm-hmm. yeah. yet they're all different subcategories yeah you know? I, I, it's also crazy like you can tell the dogs that have just like never been in water and their owner like <laughs> still has them like on the leash and they're like trying to like throw like throw them in the water and they're just like like <laughs> splashing <laughs> like well, what's this there's a beagle that was dope but the dude was just like throwing it off the rocks and, well, no, throwing the stick off of it <laughs> 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 it was throwing a stick in the rock uh, uh in the water, and the dog would just hop along the rocks and jump in the water, swim over at the stick. Monkey does that. I'm like, that's so Monkey cool. Monkey did that. That's so cool. <laughs> the transition. Oh, Monkey was great when we had the potluck and he was out there. It was amazing. That yeah. was a good time. Yeah, that was a good time. Oh, so, I guess last question. Dogs or cats? Oh, dogs. dogs. Like, I, I'm sorry. like, cats, I'm like, I'm okay with. It depends on the lifestyle. I've never Like, raised... right now, as a college kid, having a mm-hmm. cat was a lot easier. Is a lot easier. But at the same time, I just, ah, oh, dude, I have so much hatred for cats, because I'm like, I gave you food, I at least, like, humor me. Humor me. <laughs> humor me. I clean your toilet. <laughs> yeah, like, come on. How can I, how can I make you happy? <laughs> that probably says a lot more about me. It's like, I gave you something, I gave you something in return now. Yeah. It's instant gratification. <laughs> yeah, no, they don't love you back. Yeah, they yeah. don't. They don't. They really don't. I love my uh, friend's cat name, though. He, he named, it's uh, short for Catherine, but he just calls her a cat. Because it's like, <laughs> she doesn't come anyways, I'm just going to call her whatever I want. So okay. just but do cats cat. even know their names? It yeah, my, my, my mind does. Well, I don't know if it's the name or the tone of voice. I'm like, Bella, come over here. Like, 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 I don't know. But, I mean, like, I call my cat Fatty. Like, well, I feel like my, my, my cat knows when I'm being mean to her. Because, like, <laughs> she'll, she'll start, yeah, no, I'll walk up to her and I'm like, nobody likes you. You're a nuisance. We hate you. We're counting down the days. And then she'll just look at me, like, really upset. And then, like, the next day, she just, like, didn't use a litter box. She's, like, all over the floor. Or, like, she'll, like, she'll, like, eat way too much food and just drop it. Like, she'll do this thing where she takes the food in the bowl and will just drop it in the living room. <laughs> Go back and start meowing for more food. And I'm like, man, my mom's like, you're being mean to the cat again, weren't you? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. So, I think cats are smarter than they let on. They're just... Intentionally lazy because I know they get away with it. I I would, I have nothing against cats. I've just never raised one, so I don't know what all goes into it. I I, I want both. Not a lot. I I, I want both. Yeah. I I, I want like a cat that just chills, 
around the house as a thing, and then I have like the schnauzer that I can actually yeah, put no. my love into. No, I, I like the idea of mixed animals, like those two, like not, not mixing oh. the two into one. Jesus. <laughs> I meant, like, Cat, dog, the pug. <laughs> um, no, definitely. <laughs> that's, that's just incriminating himself. Like, I'm pretty sure this will just be used as evidence when uh, over the summer <laughs> Matt's dog is missing. <laughs> Tucker it is. I just chimera the hell out of him. Right. So, um, <laughs> I, I like the idea of having one of each, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, well, I think that was a good podcast, guys. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, fun. Miguel, I'm, I'm definitely vibing these guests. I love it. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Miguel, you did not disappoint. Thank you so much mm-hmm. for, Thank you for joining having me, guys. Yeah, Appreciate absolutely. it. It was a blast. Um, I guess comment uh, for the end part of the podcast. We have the comment at the beginning, comment at the end. Um, I they talk about A, do you think beer is going to stay in style much longer? B, are you down for flying cars? Mm-hmm. And how do you think it's gonna work out and see which fairy dog breed? Yeah. Uh, did we do the smoothie one too? We did the smoothie one too. Oh yeah. If you, oh, please make whatever, I forgot what ingredients we listed, but please make that. I just wanna see what it looks like. I'm not saying try it because hey, you'd have to go find famous British comedian. Uh, <laughs> Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais and go, you know. You know, there's only one of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but do the ghost fest pepper tequila? Was it? Yeah, ingredients? and what was yours? Water. <laughs> No, the water ice is like a staple. You can always use water ice, tequila, oh, and Reese's peanut butter cups. And a Reese's peanut butter cups. Ah, no, I'll do it. honestly though, that could actually that. be pretty good. If we just put two, like a lot of Reese's pieces or, or Reese's peanut butter, butter. we did yeah. not say the ratio. So you're right, yeah, my yeah. friend. Just a little bit of ghost pepper. Yeah, yeah. Just, just to give it to me. Maybe dope. Yeah, enough to. All right. Give well, uh, I, actually, and then enough know, tequila. This will be good. A plug. lot of tequila. Are you yeah. Good plug? <laughs> um, in our description, I'll put our Snapchat as, too, as well too. If you make these things. Feel free, send it to our Snapchat. Oh, that's great! Idea. And, and we might even like screen cap it or something like that, mm-hmm. and um, maybe even like do a little compilation video thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, thanks so much for joining us. Um, thanks. Uh, ooh, I'm horrible with this outro right now. <laughs> thanks for joining us. Um, please come in next week. We'll have way more content. Uh, we have a lot of things in our backlog that building up and it will get edited and be put out there promise. it's it's a horrible finals week area for us right now so we're trying to navigate that but be sure to follow us at twitter at uh cattle prod team be sure to hit up our patreon share it to your friends Please. uh feel free to Please. share this to your um, buddies get subscribers feel free to comment and yeah i'll see you guys next week thank you so much for listening bye-bye good bye see you guys